Hi allemaal, ik ben Jelena en het is weer tijd voor een gloednieuwe aflevering van Q-Time. En met je Q-Time kan je zoveel verschillende dingen doen. Dus waarom zou ik niet de welbekende Wodemaya interviewen? Dit interview gaan we in het Engels doen, because ja, het Nederlands is nog niet waar het moet zijn. Dus uh, bear with us, als Engels een beetje moeilijk is voor jou. What needs a little Q-Time? Today I'm here with with Amaya. Oh wow. I thought the whole interview is going to be in Dutch. Do you Dutch. want that? Of course, why not? Okay, ja, nee, dan gaan we dat gewoon doen. No, we yeah. Da- yeah. Hoe gaat het? That's it. Don't go further. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go further. <laughs> yes, with Amaya. Yeah. Thank you for having a cute time moment with me. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. you. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine. Just living my best life in Suriname. Yeah. I don't know why people ask me, when are you leaving? Because what is leaving Suriname? Exactly. You know, like yesterday I was in a car. I was sleeping, having a good time. And then the police stopped us. And I was like, please don't tell me to leave. As soon as I raised up my hand, I said, what am I? I'm like, ah. (laughs) You're good. I need to go out with you because apparently nothing can be stopping us when we're out there. (laughs) So so the citizens can wait. Okay, good. Okay, now you're here with me on Q time, so I'm mm. going to ask you some questions. Feel free. Yes. Uh, my first question is because I did a deep, deep dive on you, mm. and I, I ended at Wikipedia because it was the first thing that <laughs> gave me all the information about you. But at what moment did you become what am I? Because wow, I think I became what am I in 2014. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what what am I is simply um, means mother. my mom. Yeah. Uh, before my channel was called Mr. Ghana Baby, no Ghana Baby, oh. because I had no beard in somewhere. In yeah, Chile. it's you're doing so, it. It's where it's almost connecting. It's, all, it's almost connecting. Uh, you know, in 2014, I had not even a single oh. one. You know, what so, did you do? It, it's the she butter. Also. No, 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 no. This one it just came out naturally. So because of that, that's how I was called Ghana Baby. And then I saw two of them coming out, and I added Mr. to it. So I became. <laughs> I became Mr. Guy, yeah. baby. And then what am I came into existence when uh, my father was like, you got to be an engineer and not a YouTuber. But my mom was like, you know what? Give me some time. I'm going to take care of your dad. Mm-hmm. So two weeks later, my dad called me and I was like, OK, my mom did a great job. So why not celebrate my mom? Mm-hmm. Hence the name What Am I in 2014. Oh, that's so nice yeah. of you. Yeah. Celebrating your mom every time, every exactly. day. like. Exactly. At least a hundred times a yeah. day, people I'm say, what am, you, what am I? What am I? What am I? I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm not your mom. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's great. Because we had an early chat and um, I found out you're an aeronautical engineer. Yeah. And you also said you're not planning to do anything with it. I don't think so. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I built a whole business mm-hmm. out of um, social media. That's what I, one of the things that I advocate for. I tell people, don't try to be so famous. Yeah, you're famous, but create business out of being famous it's not about oh everybody knows you what do you have in your pocket so that's i have basic. a good personality i mean you have a good personality but doesn't that doesn't feed you you get we're gonna, it we're gonna talk after <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's how um, i've been able to build businesses out of it and i believe that what i've done in a short time even if i was an engineer for 20 years i wouldn't have been able to do it so entrepreneurship way is the way to go so i'm just learning in that field for now yeah nice that's nice and basically uh, the period here you had to ex- uh, explain and introduce yourself many many times you got introduced to our culture or people you felt at home you felt love mm-hmm. you felt like you belong which you actually do because this is what Surinamese people are all about giving others a great experience yeah. but what is the first and foremost thing you're taking away from your visit from Suriname? Wow. I think I will say this on your show that I will be the own official ambassador for this country. And no one has to pay me because I don't know, maybe they might say there is no money in the country. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> but if, I, if, if people are listening, <laughs> if, if there is money. <laughs> if, if there is money, then maybe you can give me some money so that I, I'll be able to fly in and out of Suriname. But why am I saying this? Because the people showed me genuine love, man. Um, if I say genuine love in terms of, you see, this is a country with different ethnicity, 
but then everybody embraces you. Like, you know, I mean, I came here with the intentions of getting to know the Afro Surinamese, but then I, I meet, I go to the Japanese side, I'm like, ah, oh, Maya, you know, like I went to their market and everyone was giving me their food for free. Hey, taste this, taste that, taste that. And it makes me feel like the people living here are amazing. And uh, I'm just going to go home and tell the world that, hey, go back to Suriname or go to Suriname and just go and experience the warmth from the people. That's it. I have to agree with you. We are amazing. Mm. So thank you for that. Um, you've been here quite a while and I kind of missed it. But mm. where is your next stop? I'm going to Guyana. Um, I think if I don't go to Guyana, they would come for me, you know. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just like Ghana having a, an argue, like a beef. We call it a beef with Nigeria. I feel like it's the same with Suriname and Guyana. Mm. The Guyanese are saying, why are you keeping him here? Allow him to We come. got the good stuff. Yeah, yeah, so Guyana has to be the next country <laughs> before we continue to Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. Ah, oh, good countries. Good yeah. countries. Yep. But we are the best. I have to say that. <laughs> and... Um, my friend, mm. uh, your host, super host, super mm. Sharda, yeah. she introduced me. Um, I saw, I, I was first um, introduced to your name mm. through uh, her Charlotte. page. Mm. And um, I realized I don't even really know that much about my culture as wow. an Afro-American or Afro-Surinamese person. Mm. So one thing you really did unknowingly is in, it, it ignited a... Uh, a search or, or a yearning to know more about where I'm coming from. So if, if something, if it's something that you did, that's what you did for me. That's beautiful. So uh, I have to thank you for that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. How do you, because I could ask so many more questions Feel and free. it's just here, you're, you're what am I, the, the, the influencer, the digital creator, the, the, the YouTuber, the, yeah. the, the, the ambassador, the unofficial ambassador of Suriname. <laughs> but how do you, combinate make a good combination with your private life because i also found out you're married you yeah. also told your wife there are no flights here <laughs> and how are you making all of this work because yeah. it takes a lot of time being online being an online presence take a lot make, takes a lot of time yeah so uh personally when it comes to i'm just gonna answer the question uh based on personal when it comes to content wise i have a team I, even though I'm, my face is the one you see every day mm -hmm. so it's pretty much organized when it comes to behind the scenes we have people who upload the videos you know making sure that the page is always active i do that all the time and with my wife um i think when i met her she knew the goal that i, I wanted to achieve by traveling to every black nation in the world even though at some point i had to slow down a little bit because um i was married but at the end of the day I'm still married. Yeah, because I, I, I was like, wait I'm a married. minute. I'm still what married. did you do? Because <laughs> people are speculating. <laughs> like, um, we, we had to have a conversation in terms of, okay, if you're supposed to travel to 10 countries, you're going to make it five. You know, so she understands. It's just that I feel like to be successful, you have to have somebody behind you and you have to do it early. Because, I mean, as a young man trying to build a platform, I mean, you see so many beautiful women every day. And you end Thank up being you. so confused. <laughs> so confused in terms of who to settle down with. So uh, one of the things that I lock myself up, people say you lock yourself up, uh, is just to get married, just to stay focused. You know, that's, that's, that's the most important thing. And I think she understands me. Sometimes we argue a lot when are you coming back. But... Uh, uh, we don't, I know how to deal with it yeah. sometimes. Miss yeah. Trudy, he got you, okay? No one. That's yours. That's all yours. <laughs> and he's sticking beside you. Exactly. <laughs> all, all the time she knows it. it it's, it's sometimes hard knowing that you're far away from your wife. And um, sometimes we travel together. So um, I think this year I did almost four countries with her together. And then even out of Africa, she was supposed to meet me in Jamaica. But uh, things didn't go as planned. So that's why she was not able to make it. Yeah. Okay, well, that's nice that you also got the private life unlocked because it, it takes a lot of, of people. Exactly. But if you make it work, keep yeah. on doing that. Yeah. So we we went through the, the social media, yeah. who you be, when you became the online personality that you yeah. are right now, your personal life, what you took from Suriname. If there's something you could tell to me while we're having this quality time conversation um, to inspire me, because you inspire a lot of other people. But with... Wow the professional side that you took to it, the, no, not the side, the approach you took to it, 
how what what tips would you give to me because i'm interviewing a million people oh that's a lie like maybe a hundred <laughs> but <laughs> you know what mm -hmm. um the people that you interview don't just interview them and let them go just like that make sure everyone that you meet try to acquire some knowledge in whatever they say because whatever i built today was between the year 2020 till now if i tell you that 2020 2019 before covid if you ask me that do you have a house to live in until i live in my mom's house but the people that i met after 2020 shaped my life changed my life and these are like entrepreneurs these are people that have made it so i became like a servant to them even though i had those numbers of subscribers but i go to them you know what you know let's have a conversation and it's not you know like um sometimes people mix pleasure with business and i always say that you know what if it's business that i want from you let's strictly stick to business and get to whatever we want to achieve at the end of the day and believe me they gave me all their what do you call it all their games you know so let's say he took maybe 10 years to achieve what he achieved it took me just six months because i listen to you i practice it i make sure i don't make mistakes so i'm just going to tell you like with the people that you if you talk to somebody and you feel like hmm, this guy is so inspired you even are. if you have to take their contact take it i mean once a while if it's coffee just get to know because that that is how i built what i have right now and my network right now if i tell you my network not my network though <laughs> my, my <laughs> network tell me no my <laughs> network the people that i know across the continent mm -hmm. it, I don't know what I cannot do. I cannot. I can just pick up a phone and then call this person that I want to speak to, maybe the richest man in this country. Not because I'm so powerful, but because of the interviews that I was having with the people, I was able to establish that network. And that is how I move within the continent. So I'm just going to tell you, do what you do, but don't let the people that come just yeah. slip away. Slip away just like that. All right, I'll take it. I'll take yeah. it. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing that with me. And also thank you for coming to my show. Thank you so much for having me. I had a great conversation with you. Thank and you. Uh, I I'm taking I'm taking all of that. Okay. What you said. Thank you. So I would love to sit and chit chat a lot more, but no we worries. don't have a lot of time because it's just cute time. Okay. But I want to thank you for being here today. I want to thank you for coming to Suriname. I want to thank you for inspiring all the people you got to inspire Suriname and for giving Suriname exposure to the rest of the world, especially to the African continent. Yeah, but I want to say a big shout out to Sharda. Yes. Uh, for making Super Sharda. Okay, let's mm -hmm. add a super to it. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, no one has done, even across our travels, no one has done what Sharda has done. I call her Shada. I hate to add a super to <laughs> because she doesn't have superpowers. You way. don't know that. I've known her for, <laughs> since forever. She doesn't have, she doesn't have superpowers, <laughs> but um, <laughs> what she has done is incredible. You know, we were supposed to be here for five days. What? And we ended up being here 30 days. So imagine, like, living all that she does and making sure we are okay. We fight a lot in terms of sometimes she wants us to go to certain places we don't want to go. But, yeah, she said, you have to promote Suriname. So she pulled out all of us around and then after going to that place, I'll be like, I'm so sorry, Sharma. <laughs> Thank you for bringing us here. So she has been incredible. And I, I wish um, the country can um, support her to bring more people into the country, to promote the country to the rest of the world. Yeah. She's going to do her utmost best. And I believe it's going to work as well. Yeah, you, the country should make her the official ambassador. You know, because I think... I'm going to call some people. Please, I have some please, number. Please, I, I will call. Please, please. I Let's, will call. I think, I think we need to start a campaign of making Shada the ambassador for the country. Because, like, me being here, almost everybody, like, the ambassador to Ghana, anytime she goes to certain places, she has to explain herself that, I'm from Suriname. But now, she meets people and is like, I'm from Suriname. Ah, what am I? Is yeah. Yeah. So, That's good. the job is easy now. Thank you. I'm so sorry for hijacking you. No, no, show. no. That, no, you did. <laughs> I'm happy. Thank I'm you. happy. I'm happy. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank and you. Um, if people were to follow you, yeah. YouTube, Facebook, you, Instagram, Instagram, TikTok. Yeah, TikTok, what am I? Yeah. Everywhere is what am I? Everywhere is yeah. what am I? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you for coming. Appreciate it. And jullie thuis bedankt voor het kijken. Vandaag was Moda Maya bij ons in de studio. Hij is een influencer, YouTuber, content creator. 
engineer. Hij heeft zoveel gedaan, maar het belangrijkste wat ik uit dit gesprek heb gehaald is dat if you maintain contact, als je relaties onderhoudt, als je niet alleen het gesprek aangaat, maar ook gewoon interesse toont in wat de mensen zeggen, kan je zoveel meer eruit halen dan gewoon ontmoeting alleen. Zo so neem deze kennis mee als je ooit mensen ontmoet. Volg me de Maya's op alle social media kanalen en get inspired. And you know, you might never know when you meet the person who might change your life. So uh, keep on doing you. And remember, your time plus my time is cute time. This is another Supreme production. Supreme TV. To entertain, to inform, to inspire.